We have a new segment here on Louder with Crowder. We're going to be doing them more regularly because a lot of people have asked to sort of boil some arguments in a way that's succinct and shareable. So this week, in the new segment, top five crappiest, top five crappiest myths surrounding gun control. So we have a few gun control myths, and not Gay Jared will be operating his, uh, he's got all this, these, these inserts to bring up. Uh, this is important right now, because these are the big myths that the left, that they're pushing, right, with a democratic sit-in. Um, let's hit myth number one. You hear this a lot. That assault rifles are a popular choice for mass shootings. So that's not true. That's not even close to true. We put assault rifles in quotes because it doesn't really mean anything. Uh, handguns are actually responsible for at least 80% of murders, of gun-related homicides. And here's something, too. Um, when we talk about this, we're taking the most generous stats we can give to the left. Because you can find stats that say well over 90% are handguns. Most mass shootings are carried out with handguns. People need to understand that. This idea, its it, it, you're talking single-digit numbers uh, as far as percentage points of people who are using the scary rifles, like an AR-15 that wasn't even used in Orlando. Mm -hmm. It's not true. It is not a choice of mass shooters, generally speaking. It is not, certainly not, a, a constant in firearm-related homicide. If anything, it's the opposite. Myth, completely untrue. Let's go to number two. Myth number two, it's easier to get a gun than a driver's license. This one never made sense to me. No, the, the, every liberal site seems to have their top like fifty-five things that are easier to get than a gun. Right, and you, it's just every single one of them is like a puppy. Yeah, yeah, because you got squash. Some, yeah, squash. Vegetable. Vegetables. Organic fruit. Yeah, I think it is with an EBT card. Um, here's what's so funny. Anyone out there ever bought a firearm? You need a driver's license. Or a state comparable ID. Anyone who's not had a driver's license, generally speaking, a state comparable ID is harder to get than a driver's license. Yeah. You typically just use a driver's license because it's the easiest. A lot of people in New York, they'll just do kind of the driver's license, do the test because it's the easiest still thing to get. You don't really want to go down to Secretary of State and do a state issued IDs. Um, so that's important. Now, a driver, driver's license is not a fundamental right. Owning a firearm is. Here are a couple of things. Uh, yes, cars are much more dangerous than guns. Period. Car fatalities far outpace gun fatalities. It's not even close. Now, I understand the argument that you'll make. Well, a gun can be a gun only has one purpose, whereas cars have other purposes. Here's the thing. A gun can be used entirely passively, putting no one at risk. If I have a gun on my hip, it is of danger to no one. Anytime you use your car, your vehicle, its purpose is to transport you from point A to point B, you are putting other people at risk. Carrying a gun does not inherently put other people at risk. You behind a wheel, no matter how good of a driver you are, puts that person at more risk than having even a loaded weapon on your hip. <laughs> that's important to know. And that's why it's harder to get a driver's license, which you need to get your gun or state comparable ID, than uh, a gun in some ways, in the sense that you have to pass, uh, 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 the, well, you have to jump through some hoops to get a driver's license to show that you can drive the car. Mm -hmm. On the flip side, um, when you get a driver's license, have you had a criminal background check? No. Can you get a driver's license if you're a felon? Yes. What if you're a domestic abuser? Yes. What if you have mental illness? Yes. You can still get a driver's license. Not so with a firearm. You ever had to do a background check to get a driver's license? Not usually, no. No, never. So, cars are much more dangerous than guns. You also have to be uh, 18 to get a firearm in, in most states, from what I understand. Yep. Is it all states? Everyone that I've encountered, Okay, 18, yes, 16 goodbye. to get a driver's license. Yeah, or 15 and a half to get your permit. Right. Maybe 14, sometimes. Long story short, driver uh, cars are much more dangerous than guns, and uh, it is much easier to get a driver's license than buy a firearm. But then again, if you've ever actually bought a firearm, you don't buy the BS because you know that. Let's go to myth number three. Gun-free zones prevent mass shootings. No. This one is really simple. We don't need to spend a lot of time on it. 92% of mass shootings since 2009 occurred in gun-free zones. Listen, doesn't take an incredible logical leap to understand this. If you're a shooter, you're going to find the easiest target. The easiest target is an area where you're guaranteed there are no firearms. Myth number four. 
Concealed carry holders don't stop violent crime. This is one, and Michael Woods Jr. likes to use this one a lot. Um, well, there are tons of examples, okay, of concealed carry holders stopping crime. Naki Jared has brought these up with an Uber driver, this guy in Cincinnati, uh, a customer carrying a concealed weapon, shoots suspected bank robber, firefighter off duty, cops off duty. Um, it's, 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 th- there are so many anecdotal stories, okay? So that's obviously untrue. Here's something that people don't tell you. This is a really important statistic and something that's funny about, about gun control proponents. Um, guns, when they, according to the CDC, by the way, Obama said you weren't allowed, the CDC wasn't allowed to conduct any research. They did. Here's what they found. Uh, firearms on a yearly basis. Now, it's hard to measure because most incidents involving a firearm defensively, it's never fired. So sometimes they're not reported properly. That's why there's such a wide swath between 500,000 to over 3 million uh, per year incidents of firearms used defensively. Okay. That means that at the absolute lowest figure, there are at least as many incidents of defensive uh, uses of firearms as there are bad guys using them against good people. And if you use the highest figure, it's many times more the amount of times a gun is used defensively from the good guy. Hello. So that's something, and this is from the CDC. These are undeniable statistics that people don't want to tell you. So not only anecdotally do you hear about these things all the time, but yes, guns are used defensively in millions of cases. And uh, here's another chart too, concealed carry. Now, correlation doesn't necessarily equal causation, but if you look at concealed carry as it has gone up, violent crime has steadily gone down. Does it mean that that's because of concealed carry? No, but it does prove verifiably that an increase in concealed carry certainly does not result in increased crime. The trend would be decreased crime. It's not necessarily because of concealed carry, but certainly... There are more guns now in the population than ever. Than ever. Than ever. Than ever, and violent crime is lower and gun crime is gun, lower. Yeah. Uh, okay, last myth, number five. That gun control laws actually work. I'll toss this to you. You can go email me through ladderwithcrowder.com or tweet me at scrowder. Um, can anyone name me any law or proposed laws on the table that would stop mass shootings? That would have stopped this last one. Anything. The no-fly list? No. Guy wasn't on the no-fly list. Background? Uh, loophole? There was no loophole here. Magazine? I mean, come on, listen. Anyone can get a magazine. I, I'm trying to not go into the fact that, obviously, criminals will still commit crime. Therefore, they'll buy guns illegally. That's the most obvious one. But let's assume even going through legal avenues right now. Is there any proposed law right here that would have stopped these? Let me give you some stats right here. Uh, we have this up from Conservative Review. Fantastic. Gun murders are on a decline since the 90s. Um, anyway, we, have a, we, we could give you stats until we're blue in the face. If anyone can name me some gun control legislation that would have stopped this, I'm eager to hear it. Here's the thing. There are proposed legis- uh, gun control legislation, uh, pieces of gun control legislation out there that have been ignored by the left. Project Exile, we've talked about that. This is this basically equates they to... They hate that one. Yeah, really harsh penalties for felons carrying firearms or carrying a firearm that's not legal. Mm-hmm. Very serious sentences. Uh, we have it up at lotterwithcutter.com. I don't have the numbers right in my head. I want to say it was five years, and then your second offense was like 20 years. Very, very serious crime. And what did it do? It worked. It was in Virginia. They, they did this. They basically did some test studies, and they found that this reduced illegal firearms... Uh, them being carried by a remarkable percentage. The reason left us to pose it is they said that it disproportionately targeted minorities. So Project Exile did work. It's something that works without infringing on any law-abiding citizen's right. What's required is to find the illegal gun so a crime is being committed as opposed to the no-fly list where you could not have, you, you could not have even been accused of a crime, uh, have never been involved with terrorism, and simply have your Second Amendment rights stripped of you, Project Exile requires proof that you are currently committing a crime because that gun is illegal. So it infringes on your rights none whatsoever, only criminals. And it worked, and the left opposed it. But I want to know what kind of gun control laws proposed. Do we have an outro here? We do. Oh, okay. Want to roll that? Tweet me at S. Crider. What gun control laws would have stopped this? I still want to know. Crowd is crappy this has been a top five, five list. Hey, you're still here. That's surprising. I'm not going to lie. This is the internet. Most people have an attention span of four seconds. But this is a clip taken from the full weekly video cast podcast. You can click below to watch that full video cast or subscribe on iTunes or SoundCloud. Click my face to go to ladderwithcrowder.com where there are more articles than you could read in a lifetime or... Click below me where there's another video. It's shorter because I know you're busy and you have things to do, like find pants.